Welcome to using dynamic values to set default values. The dynamic value field in its simplest form can be used to set default values in various elements. A good example of this default value being used is when you want to have the location and building number of a certain inspection form to be automatically filled in for the user. Pick list widgets and select widgets can also receive a default value by using the index value. A default value can automatically have an email address entered into the form also. Now let's take a look on how we set these default values up. To enter a default value of a certain element, first click on the element you wish to show the default value of. Next click on the Smart Control tab located under the Element Properties and then enter the default value you wish to use into the Dynamic Value field. Now for this example, we want to show the default location for an inspection form using a text widget. To do so, Enter in the location name and close by quotation marks into the dynamic value field. To set the default value for a number widget, simply navigate to the dynamic value field of that widget and enter in the number you wish to be shown as the default. To set the default email address using the email widget, again navigate to the smart control tab and enter the email address enclosed in quotes. Dynamic values can also be used with pick lists and other widgets that have an index value. This is accomplished by using the index value for the option you want to have set as the default value. Option lists always start with zero as the first value. For example, if you have a pick list with apples, oranges, and bananas, apples index value would be zero, oranges would be one, and bananas would be two. If you wanted orange to show up as the default choice in that pick list, you would simply enter the number 1 into the dynamic value of that pick list widget.